What's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. It's the trade room. And today I will be going over a tutorial of PGP basics for Mac OS. A lot of people are running into this issue, um, especially with DFK Helper when setting up on the Mac OS. And I am here to walk you through it. The purpose of this is the purpose of a PGP is to encrypt a message just like a text message, an email message, or just anything that has to travel or go over a network, i.e. the current internet or blockchain if you are involved in uh, DeFi kingdoms. So this is relevant for anybody that's looking to get their PGP um, uh, message encrypted and sent over the Mac OS, but also too for DFK players who were re receiving the services of DFK Helper. So without further ado, we're going to get into it. The first step is that you are going to open up the link that shows you the step-by-step -step process of just how to set up. For the Mac OS, if you are looking to utilize a GPG service, you cannot use a Chrome extension. It will not work. You have to use a software that is compatible with Apple. So that's where the first link that's going to be in the description is going to take you to the step-by-step -step process. So this is the step-by-step -step process. The link is in the description. This is gpgtools.tenderapp.com. Link is in the description. This is just going to show you the first steps, the walkthrough by walkthrough, you setting up your public key, because in order for the individual that you are encrypting your private key or a message to, in order for them to open it up, they need to receive your public key in order to open the private message. We'll talk about this down the line, but just make sure you look at this document here. It's gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process. You can follow it while you are working through after you download this software. And the link to download the software is right over here. Top. Once you have everything set and downloaded, you are able to go into your launch pad on the mac os and open up the gpg keychain okay it'll open up just like this okay and the steps that we're going to walk through is be able to set up your public key which you're going to need to set up you're going to then import the other person's public key as well because you need to send your message with the other person's public key so that they can open it up that is their key to open it up and then we'll walk through the rest of the process here so you are going to have to create your public key that's the first step so what you want to do with your public key is that you want to name it okay so we're going to name this the trade room okay you want to place an email address that you can use to be associated with your public key um and we are gonna go with sovereign to at gmail.com uh you want to you know set up a password um and you want to make sure that that password is really strong um Here, here. Um, we're gonna go and okay, 
And once you have this information set up and you hit create key, it'll go ahead and create your public key for you. The prompt or message that we have here, it says the password you entered is too simple. A good password should be at least eight characters long and use different characters. Like I said, create a stronger password. This is just for the demo purposes. So I'm just going to click use simple password. Your new key is being created. This might take a minute. Boom. My new key has now been created. It gives you an option to upload the public key to um, their server so that you're able to have better recovery um, and use their services for recovery purposes. For this demo version, I'm not going to upload the key. Some people don't like to upload the key. It's all up to you. It's just an additional security feature. I'm going to hit no thanks for now. So now you have set up your own private, uh, your own public key, and you can give it its different validity levels here as well. So now that you have that DFK helper, the individual that or the individual that you're sending the encrypted message to, they have their own public key. They need to provide that for you so that you can match it for when you send your encrypted message out. So at some point within your process, DFK helper should have provided you with their public key. And what you want to do is you want to create a file and you want to place their uh, DFK helper's public key in or the person who sent you the, or the person who's wanting to receive an encrypted message for you. You're going to have to place their public key in because they're going to need that in order to open the message that you're sending. So DFK would DFK helper would have sent you that at some point. You want to go ahead and copy that text and you want to go ahead and import it. Now, when you're importing it, you're going to need it to be an actual file. Okay. You can edit a file that you already have. So you can already have a file. You can drag it to the side here and you can edit it. Or and you can edit it by double clicking it here and you can edit it here and change its features or you can just make sure that you have a completely new file used by going on the command line and creating that file. I'm going to show you how to use command line. Okay. If you want to use command line to be able to import the person's public key that you need along with your message, which could be your private key or your message, um, this is how you would go about doing it. You're going to need command line, okay? And command line is just another way of walking through your files and your different databases in a coding way, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your launch pad on Apple Mac OS. You're going to go and find it's normally in the other, or you can search it as well you're going to find your terminal and within your terminal you are going to go ahead and create the coding version of creating a file okay so what you're going to do is you're going to put cd which is change directory space and you're going to put desktop that's going to open up your desktop okay now we're going to go ahead now and create the file that we need to put our message in. And we're going to go first with touch. That's a prompt space. And you're going to go ahead and call the file uh, test file dot txt. You're going to hit enter. And when you do that, you should see this thing pop up on your uh, home screen. So now that we've set up the file, we're going to go ahead and we're going to copy the person's public key or again, DFK helpers public key that they sent to you. You're going to double click that file that you just created and you're going to paste their public key. Okay. What you're going to do is you're now going to edit it and you're going to save it as 
DFK public key test. All right. I'm going to save it as that. I'm going to. We have just used the CD change directory to put the file here on a desktop and put the, the private, the public key of the individual we're looking to communicate in this instance, it is DFK helper. Now we want to be able to import that public key in here because we need to attach that with our public key in order to get the message sent out. So you're going to hit import. I know that I saved this on a desktop, but I'm also clicking recent recent here on my Mac OS. And uh, once I open it up, boom, there we go. It is Gabriel, Gabriel uh, from DFK Helper. That is the admin. The great thing about the Mac OS is that it shows you um, some of the information of the individual you're dealing with. The validity level is here, but you can adjust the validity level. So guess what? Now you have your public key, okay, which we have labeled as a trade room, and you have DFK's, uh, I'm sorry, you have uh, DFK helpers, public key. So now what you want to do is you want to create another text file that you're going to put your public key in. We did that the first time to be able to store DFK's public key. We're going to do that one more time. And in order to do that, you have to go to, again to Launchpad, um, find your utilities, click Terminal. Once Terminal opens up, you're going to put CD, change directory, and you are going to go to your desktop. Okay, because that's where you're going to be able to create the file at. You're going to do touch my message secret key dot txt. I'm sorry, you don't want to put spaces in between that. So when we do that, I get this here. My message uh, message secret key dot text. That's just, I guess, what it decided to make the text. What you need to do is you need to find your way to your MetaMask and, and copy your secret key. For me, I'm just going to double click this, double click, okay? And I'm going to pretend that this is my, uh, this is my message or my private key. And what I'm gonna put is DFK to the moon. Let's see when this happens, okay? And again, in order for the other person to be able to read this um, and for me to be able to deliver this securely, I have to encrypt it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to go to services. And now that I've gotten all this together and I have my message or private key, I'm going to open up the PGP services and I'm going to click encrypt selection. When I click encrypt selection, this is what shows up for me. Okay. I'm sending this to Gabriel, um, who I'm trying to communicate with. I'm going to add my public key. And the one that we created is the trade room. And I'm going to go ahead and hit that I've signed, all right, and that I have receipts, and I'm going to go ahead and hit encrypt, okay? It's going to ask me for the passphrase that I created. I created a demo one. It's not really strong at all, um, but I'm going to use it anyway because I'm going to be deleting it right after this. From here, I'm going to hit OK. And now I have the encrypted message in text format that I can now send securely via email, via text message, via any avenue to anybody. But for the all intents and purposes, for 
DFK helper if you're just making sure that you have a Mac OS and that you are encrypting your private key and sending it to the proper parties, this is the text you have, okay? Now you can copy and paste it directly via email or remember, you also have the file that you created here that you can directly upload to your email and send over to your recipients, okay? So it's a bit of a process, okay? But what we did today is that we used a PGP encryption service and we walked through the process that is beginner friendly for creating plain text um, encryption of a message to an individual which requires having their public key and including your public key in order to encrypt it, send it over, and for them to open it with their public key. And it's this uh, good secure way to deliver a message and know that only that person is able to open up and to read it. So guys, I hope this is helpful. Okay, I hope that um, this helps more Mac OS users. I hope this helps the community, DeFi Kingdoms. As you can see, we are here. Big shout out to Styx Intern. This was actually his AI creation. And listen, Styx Intern, uh, the people at the shirt shop told me that you need to be able to save this thing in a way that it be it's it's of more quality when they print it. So I need you to figure that out because I, I'm looking to make a few, a few more of these. All right. So shout out to Sticks Intern. Guys, this is it. I try to keep it under five minutes, but it looks like we, we're going to go 10 minutes or so. I hope this is helpful. Uh, peace. And we will see you on the other side. Check you out.